Hi, my name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. All right, guys, I have a very wicked 1965 Shelby Cobra. Uh, this is a factory five kit on it that's been completely redone uh, since it was first assembled. This has a Gen 3 5.0 Coyote swap in it. So big block V8 out of a 2020 Mustang. Uh, it's paired to a 2003 Terminator Cobra transmission. Uh, so it's a six speed. This thing is wicked fast. It's tons of fun. You guys are really going to like it. Now guys, real quick before we get into the rest of the video, if you guys have been enjoying our YouTube videos, make sure you subscribe to our channel. If you click the bell icon, you'll get notified every time a new one gets posted. You don't want to miss out. we got a lot of killer inventory coming in and out of this place. They go just as quick as they come in. So if you want to be the first to see it, beat everyone else, make sure to click the bell. For the full photo shoots and write-up descriptions, you can visit volocars.com. There you can study the specs. You can take a look at our full studio shots of these vehicles. Uh, we have close-up shots. You have in-depth uh, interior, exterior, engine bay, underneath the vehicles. And it's all on the website, volocars.com. There's a couple hundred, both modern muscle and classic cars. They're all for sale. Uh, it's highly addicting. I'm on the site all the time looking at these awesome rides, so make sure to check it out. All right, let's get into it. So this car was originally completed in the early 2000s. Uh, the shop that tore it down and restore, uh, completely redid it, they were out of Ohio. It's called GFTP Performance. Uh, they finished it in 2020. So the build is about two years old now. Uh, there's approximately 1,500 miles on this restoration and build. So they took the shell off the frame, they repainted the body. This is a custom Nardo gray paint with a nice gloss black slip stripe all the way down, racing stripes all the way down the, the whole car. Uh, there's no edge line, so it's glossed right over. It's smooth, you can run your hands right across it, guys. So they went away with all the chrome, all the, uh, the bumper trims, the handles, stuff like that, the harness bar, the gas lid. They're all either powder coated or Cerakoted gloss black. Even the side pipes, um, all the grill vents as well. So I like the theme that's going on here. As Jay sa says, it looks like it's still in primer, but when you see it in person, it's actually very slick. It's menacing. It's got a good look to it. The wheels, we have the uh, Cobra reproduction wheels. They're finished again in the gloss black. They do have some very, very nice Mickey Thompson uh, street comp tires on them. So these, these grip. Uh, this car put down... 455 wheel horsepower to the rear wheels, 420 pound-feet of torque. Uh, so in a light little kit car like this, man, it's scary. Uh, overall, the paint can, quality is in really nice shape. There's a few swirls here and there that you can, can see if you, you know, look super close. There's a rock chip right here. Uh, but other than that, it's really nice. I did notice there's a couple little blend marks uh, that you can see right in the uh, inner of the fender wells. So very little minor imperfections, but overall, very nice paint job. It's smooth, it's glossy, there's no pitting or any uh, solvent pop or anything like that. So you can run your hand right across it. It's very slick. Uh, same with all the trim, all the black finish on it. It's really nice. Uh, the dual side pipes, again, gloss black, Cerakoted. And you can see, you know, the heat obviously starts to uh, make it look worn a little bit but it's still glossy it's still smooth so very nice finish on it it does have the side bracket mounts as well underneath the car again it's still the original factory 5 kit so it's powder coated uh, the gloss black color uh, it is on a ford nine inch rear end i believe is what he told me uh, with i'm not sure on the gears i believe it was 390 gears but i will double check on that um, it does have the factory five coil over spring suspension setup. So there's shocks and springs in the rear and then the coil over springs up the front. So you can adjust the height on it. Uh, he did raise the rear end, he said, because when this thing gets down, it squats and the rear tires were actually rubbing on the fenders. So we did raise that up a little bit so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, 
the fit fitment is very nice up front as well. Um, just a very nice appealing Cobra. He had these repowder coated, the window frame, new glass put in. Uh, we have the factory five side window wings as well. Um, through the scoop right here, you can see the cover. It says 5.0 right on the engine bay, so I like that. Uh, it doesn't take too much to see it. From right here, I can, I can see that 5.0 uh, staring right back at me. Uh, they did put a hood riser in it to rise it up. Uh, he planned on actually supercharging this car at one point, so he wanted to make sure that that would all fit in. So the hood is raised just a little tad, but the fitment, the finish, uh, as far as the gaps and stuff, fits very nicely same with the door jams guys you know sometimes these kits they can be a little finicky but the doors fit nicely they open and close with ease so very nicely done even the trunk all the gaps are fine on it there's new weather stripping as well but we'll get into that in a second let's take a look inside all right guys so coming into the interior again this is the factory five Cobra kit. So a lot of famili familiarities as the factory five setups. So we have the factory five Cobra replica seats, uh, the Cobra replica steering wheel, same with the dash. The dash is a little more customized as you can see from that giant tablet in the center. This has the one gauge tablet dash uh, speedometer. So it's very customizable. You can see all your gauges on here, your air fuel ratio, uh, your oil pressure, your gas. Everything's on here. Uh, it's very nicely done, even with the RPMs. Okay. Sorry about that. It does have a Bluetooth radio. Uh, this is out of a, it's a marine stereo, so it's waterproof, weatherproof. It has some nice Pioneer uh, speakers. As you could see, my phone was connected before we started this video. I had to test it tested out. They do bump. Uh, they put out some sound. So you, over the exhaust, you can definitely hear the music bump. Um, so it, you can plug in your phone with the phone cord. There's a USB plug-in underneath or it's Bluetooth as well. So that's a nice little touch. Uh, all, the, all the lights, the horn, or the buttons work, the horn, the headlights, you have your uh, turn signals as well, and even your wipers. So everything's working on it. Uh, he, it's wired in real nicely. There's nothing hanging or anything like that. Again, it is the older kit, so the seats are showing a little, a little wear or a little fade on them, uh, but the leather's still soft or the pleather's still soft on it. The carpet's still nice and black. Uh, it's very clean inside and out. You do have a nice cutoff uh, valve that he put in right in the center there. So when you're not using the car, you just turn it to off position. Uh, it'll eliminate any type of draw on this car. I did forget to mention, it does have four wheel disc brakes in the front and rear off a Mustang. Uh, it is titled as a 97 or a 98 Mustang, I believe. Uh, so that's what the brake setup came off of. However, it does have the big Willwood pedal setup uh, for your gas, brake, and clutch. And it has its own three separate reservoirs as well for it. So very nicely done. Um, it's simple yet effective. Moving on to the trunk area, <clears throat> again, see that factory five finish on it. He did carpet it as well. It has the aluminum behind it uh, and you have some quick connects for the battery. So if you do forget to shut off uh, the cutoff on it, you can jump it with ease, pop the trunk. It's right there. Plenty of room in it. Uh, you, you can store plenty of stuff. You could definitely take this on a road trip. Uh, wouldn't be that bad. Now for the good stuff, under the hood, guys, we have that 2020 Coyote 5.0 liter Gen 3. <clears throat> Again, this is pushing 446 rear wheel horsepower, 420 pound-feet of torque. Uh, this was tuned by Race Mod Performance out of North Canton, Ohio. Um, mated to the 5.0 is the 2003 Cobra Terminator T56 transmission. It does have a McLeod uh, racing clutch in it. So it's a nice firm clutch. It's not too stiff. Uh, it's not too floppy either. So it's a very nice setup for this car. Uh, it just matches it real nicely. It's actually fairly easy to drive. Um, all the, surprisingly, look at how nice the engine fits in here. I was kind of shocked about that, but they did a nice job. They tied in the cold air intake. They have it uh, welded so it's not going to bounce around on you or get 
caught up on the belts or the lower crank pulley. It's got a massive air filter on it. And your fuel setup with your fuel pressure uh, regulators back here, it's all tied in nicely. They wired everything in uh, very nicely. They routed the lines very nicely. So everything's very clean. It fits really nice. Obviously you have the classic four to one uh, custom long tube headers on it. Obviously you have to make them uh, custom for this Gen 5 or for the Gen 3 Coyote. Uh, but overall, it's still glossy in here. It's still nice and black and clean. Uh, they did a really good job building this. So very nicely done. the trunk open there is no stand for it so you can obviously get a some type of stand hold it up uh, nothing too major but anyway that was my impression on our 1965 factory 5 Shelby Cobra replica again this has right around 1500 miles or so just over on it uh, since the rebuild on it and the restoration and this thing Spinning around the table, look how menacing it is. I really love this colorway on it. You always see them with the chrome and the flashy, but it's kind of nice with the darker neutral colors. Uh, seeing this come down the road, you're like, what is that thing? But anyway, if you are interested in purchasing it, you can visit volocars.com. Uh, there, if you click the buy it now button, you'll secure a refundable deposit on the car. Uh, we can help set up financing and shipping. It's super easy. We can get it delivered right to your driveway. Uh, I know I'd love to have this sitting right outside in front of my garage uh, for all the neighbors. You know, we could roll this out of the trailer. All your neighbors are going to be jealous and envy you and you'll have one badass Cobra. So volocars.com or you can call us, ask for me, Caleb. I'd be more than happy to talk over the car some more with you. I can also help set up financing ship and shipping that way as well. So thanks for checking it out.